Hi again, welcome to the Goua Jean Pierre. This time, following the other uh, episode that uh, we kind of showed uh, and described the little microscope here, the, the electronic microscope, um, I'm going to be using it. Uh, I kind of got it for a, you know, a definite purpose of uh, using it in a shop. Uh, in combination with uh, different setup or whatever, I was going. Uh, I'm. I was going. I'm. I'm. We're going to be using it and testing it on actual uh, machine parts uh, using the DRO on the uh, milling machine, and we'll be trying to check first the accuracy of the uh, microscope, how uh, how accurate we can get uh, by just vis visually lining it up and uh, relying on the um, DRO to get the uh, the feedback and uh, see how. Uh, the features on this little part here are uh, close to specifications uh, using this as a uh, measuring device. So with no further ado, let's uh, just get to the milling machine and uh, I'll explain as we go along. Very quickly how this is uh, all set up. The camera is installed right here, microscope at the same time. Uh, I got the little platform that's supplied with it. I got the can twist clamp onto the head of the milling machine it's upside down just uh, turn it around this it can uh, be adjusted up and down there the little uh, lighting devices uh, LEDs pointing in the right place I got this camera here that is pointing right at the monitor there to uh, record it I'm going to be able to read my DRO to uh, get a decent reading and I'm going to be uh, operating the uh, X and Y axis from here. Before going any further with this uh, demonstration of the uh, the concept, um, there's one thing I'll have to maybe do just to be logical with the uh, you know the, 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 the path we're going. I've got this set of gauge blocks there. These are good quality gauge blocks. They're Weber Starrett gauge blocks. So we have to check about how precise the setup can be and how repeatable it is. Um, there's no uh, no purpose of measuring something if you can't repeat or if you can't be accurate enough. So let's see how uh, how we can uh, manage with this. So we'll be focusing the microscope uh, into the the um, junction of where the two uh, gauge blocks are installed. Uh, not very easy. Even the gradical uh, thickness of the line isn't exactly like uh, could I say. Uh, you know, it's it's small, but it's still readable. So let's uh, let's let's see the monitor. So you see you see how how the graticle is there, and uh, I'll be moving a little bit. The uh, see the lines between the two blocks there, which is uh, now at the left of the uh, graticle, the the uh, vertical line, the center line. So we're now we're almost three thousandths off. So that's uh, kind of a big. Uh, you know, we're a big distance in, ma in a uh, amount of thousands we're off. So here, this is focused by uh, by I back to the original position. I'm watching this time. I'm watching the uh, DRO to uh, you know just to follow with this experiment. Uh, now we'll be moving one inch. We'll try to get as precise as possible. It's all done by eyesight. So let's uh, let's start moving. The microscope is at the magni ma uh, maximum magnification. You see there, um, the these are numbers engraved by a uh, laser engraved on the uh, blocks themselves. And we're about uh, uh, not very far. Okay, there we see the junction of the two blocks. Now I have to align this up uh, very carefully. It's always done by I. Uh, Measuring with my eyes and uh, come on you a little bit more a little bit more. This is not a very easy. I gotta be exactly in between the uh, the blocks, so in the middle of the uh, junction of those. So uh <coughs> by carefully lining it up, uh, uh, we're one tenth uh, one tenth aside. Uh, which is a uh, very very nice uh, precision there. Let's go for the 500 thousandths block. The next one, the laser engravings again. Okay, this one is going to be a little bit more fussy. Hey boy, 
let's go there I think I think I got the right line there is this there no the line is right where the color changes in the middle of it okay I think we're right there if we're looking at the DRO we're uh, two, ten two tenths aside so that is uh, pretty reasonable readout uh, you know precision is not bad at all and then we go for the 100 thousandths and uh, five tenths this is to get into uh, let's say the half thousandths readout okay this is not very far so oh boy where is this come on you a little bit more I have to Yeah, this one, judging with my eyes, yeah, we're right, we're dead on. So, I would say that uh, with careful, uh, let's say careful aiming, careful um, handling, we can go for uh, maybe plus minus two tenths precision in this type of uh, setup. Uh, you wouldn't go there for, uh, let's say, space, uh, you know, you know, sp aerospace, industry or very precise measurements but for lots of uh, very precise measurements for a shop home shop even uh, even some smaller shops you can uh, you can have the the precision of a let's say a optical comparator uh, for a decent price and less uh, oh, and less of a cumbersome setup because a uh, optical comparator is uh, usually a pretty big uh, it's big, you know. <laughs> so, uh, so far we're doing good, and see uh, see a few things we can uh, measure with this. After that, I got a few other experiments that I just kind of set up for this. Okay, here I'm back uh, to whole reference. I'm centered again, and what we'll do now we'll measure the diameter of this hole. Uh, being very well centered here, I'll uh, I'll be measuring on the x-axis. Let's go on one side of the hole. Let's say this side just could be any. Uh, any side of the hole. Okay, I'm going to. Uh, it's going to be easier this way. Zero DRO, and let's go uh, to the other side. And this hole is supposed to be uh, uh, one eighth of an inch, one uh, one hundred twenty-five thousandths, and it's supposed to be uh, a little bit over three millimeters. So let's try to get as accurate as possible. So we're measuring the diameter of the first hole, 125.1, 1 125 and one and a half tenth. That is pretty good measurement. And uh, let's go and measure the one at the other end, which is the um, 530 seconds of an inch see what uh, type of results we'll be getting from this one okay let's get there uh, first I'll be centering the up the up and down let's make a uh, let's make sure we're well uh, in the center of the uh, height wise uh, okay we're very close on the x-axis and let's get the uh, wrinkles on the other axis. A little bit more this way. Come on. There we go. We're about uh, splitting the lines uh, in between about the same distance on top and bottom. Let's go to, uh, let's say, let's start like the other one, just like this side here. And the uh, scratch line on this, uh, I mean, you don't rely on that. That was made the uh, freehand with the uh, caliper. Okay, let's go to the other side of the hole. There's a little bird there, but we'll, uh, I think we can say that this is pretty accurate. So this hole here 
is uh, 156 four tenths. Now we get to um, control the holes. Oh, no, don't, 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 don't. We get to control the holes here. Uh, this is a 125 gauge pin. This is a 126. Uh, let's try the 125. We go gently. Yeah, it goes in. Very nice fit. This is a very little wiggle. And let's try the 126. These are minus gauge pins, so it means that it's 126 minus a little bit. But uh, no, there's no way I'm getting this in there. So uh, this is 125, let's say, <coughs> let's say 125 and maybe a little bit over. But that's, uh, let's say, uh, let's say this, this, is, uh, this is in accordance to what we measured. So I've got here uh, one, 56 and 157. Uh, let's say, okay, this is the 156. Let's try this one here. Okay, a little bit of wiggle. Very light, uh, very light wiggle. Slip fit, nice. And this is 120, uh, 157, and there are minus spins, so it means like it's a little bit less than 157. So uh, whatever I do, I would have to really force it in with a press or something. That would be a press fit, so that's no, uh, no way this works. It just goes into the, uh, the first part, no. <laughs> so I think uh, this method with the microscope measures pretty well, I'd say. We're within uh, within a thousand for sure because the pins will uh, will allow a one thousand uh, let's say gap in there, and uh, I would be a few a few tenths under the one fifty seven pin, but it doesn't go in. There will be a let's say um, let's I will say a tight fit. So this measures uh, diameters very uh, very nicely for this exercise which is, uh, let's say, like a, what was a proof concept. Uh, I made some holes in that plate. Here there's a reference hole, middle hole, and the uh, last hole in the, uh, ex the uh, right extremity of that plate is a 532nd hole, and the two first ones are 1 8 of an inch. Uh, about 2 millimeters for the uh, first two ones, and about uh, almost 4 millimeters for the uh, last ones. I'll write down the, um, in the subtitles in there, the uh, right uh, translation. Um, what we're going to do, since the holes, I c if the holes were exactly the same, uh, the same diameter, we could just uh, line up on the edge of the holes and uh, start from there. But uh, I'll be making the crosshair right in the middle of the hole and uh, in order to compensate for the holes that are not exactly the same diameter. So that will uh, allow us to make a more accurate measurement. Um, let's... Let's just proceed. And then we're going to go from the left to the center hole and to the right hole. Let's, uh, let's just start moving. The DR is at zero. And uh, we're centered. Next hole. So we're at maximum uh, enlargement on this or maximum magnification. So like... Uh, Oops, back, back, back a little bit. We're very close. Come on, just this. Okay, that's pretty close from what this should be. So this hole is uh, half a thousand away from uh, from. Uh, let's say the the target that was at one inch so that's pretty close that that would be a way to measure holes uh, pretty accurately let's go to the uh, 5 30 seconds hole which is the last one on the right <coughs> we're uh, pretty close on the edges 
that's this one is a little bit fuzzy on the right. I think we're uh, we're about there. We're uh, one thousand off from um, the target, which is supposed to be two inches. So uh, for holes made with uh, let's say a centering drill and uh, just stand very standard methods that's not too bad so let's see if it repeats we'll go to the middle hole and see if we get about the same reading than when uh, we got there the first time <coughs> okay the uh, precision of this really goes with the uh, how precise you're going to um, line up visually on this. So uh, I would say we're pretty close from the first uh, spot. And uh, if I look at the DRO, we're uh, still like a or half thousand from the first time. So uh, that means that we're pretty, uh, we're repeating very, uh, very accurately on this. It's, uh, this is dead on. And this one here. Oops, I think we're past. Okay, that's... Uh, let's just line this up. I was too... Uh, okay, I think we're pretty much... Uh, to my eye, we're pretty much uh, where we were uh when i started so we're uh one tenth off from departure so going back and forth uh we're let's say doing a pretty good uh, a pretty good repeat on this if i uh try to yeah it just corresponds to what i had when i started so this is another uh, another nice uh, feature that uh, you can measure uh, pretty accurately with this uh, tool. And uh, let's go to uh, some next steps. Hmm, what's cooking? Tree monkey, tree monkey food. Hey, uh, yeah. Phil, Philip, ooh, ooh. open up, open up the lid. Yeah. S smells uh smells like you're gonna have good food. What? Yeah, I'm going out for it. Oh boy. <laughs> oh boy. Something again that turned wrong. Ah oh, no no, getting fresh bananas. Not eating that shit. Even green. Do your fussy for food.